KFNN. The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here. This is the 10 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market update on the second day of March. This is Thursday. We're looking at the Dow up 66 at 32,729. A lot of that has to do with Salesforce.com, which, of course, is a Dow stock. So, of course, it became a Dow stock. Uh, we're looking at the S&P. Now, this is the real market. The S&P 500 is uh, down 12 at 39.38. The QQQ and the X100 trading down $1.40 at 289.80. IWM down uh, down a dollar twenty-seven at one eighty-seven sixteen. Uh, gold, uh, gold is down just a little, just down two at eighteen forty-four. The dollar is up a little bit. It is actually a little more than up a little bit. It's up point sixty-two at one hundred five point oh one. I'm still expecting a leg D in the Chapman wave buy mode of the dollar, and we're looking at the potential for a move above uh, on the. Uh, this is the dollar index of one hundred five. 0.37 starts at egg D. We're looking at the crude oil. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Uh, crude oil is up uh, 50 cents at 78.20. And the TLT, which is bonds down. Remember, 99 was the target that we had on the left side. And there it is, price symmetry. It's one, it's one day late from the bar that I chose. But it is at 99.58. And therefore, the yields are moving up. I'm uh, talking about up. We've just had a nice spike in, in the market because it was in a rectangle formation. The one minute chart just was stuck between 39.30 and 39.40. Bam, we're up at 39.46. And one of the things that I've been looking at is that there's internal strength, but just enough strength to actually move the market higher against this backdrop of selectivity. And that really is the issue right here. Selectivity is the word. And we'll see if this is a rally that's able to be able to to hold all the way through three o'clock. And if the Dow is actually up about 120 or 140 at three o'clock, despite some waves of selling, I think that'll be a good sign because it'll actually lead and bring the other indices up. And that's really the story. The Dow 30 basically is leading the S&P 500, the NDX 100. So I'll be right back with the Tiger Technicians out. Check out my opening call, my daily newsletter, and uh, I'll be back in a moment. Hope you can stay.